مرحبا واهلا وسهلا فيكم بدرس جديد. Hello and welcome to a new lesson. In this lesson, we're going to speak about common terms that you hear every day. How to say a girl in Levantine, Lebanese colloquial Arabic, how to say a boy, young man, young lady, an old man, an old woman, how to say man, woman, um, young, old parents, um, children, kids, all those common terms that you hear about. We're going to be providing as well um, the dual and plural forms. Lots of examples, explanation, and at the end, some common Lebanese sayings relevant to this topic. So stay tuned till the very end. Uh, even if you're uh, at an intermediate or advanced level, you will find something interesting in this video. Marahil Omril Insane. So literally stages of human life. So the human life cycle. Marhali is a stage in the sing singular. Marahil stages. Umr can mean age or life, literally. Marahil Umr al Insan. Insan is a human being. First stage, al Rida'a or al Mahd, infanthood. Rida'a referring to breastfeeding as well. Huwe ba'du birda. He's still breastfeeding, referring to a little uh, baby who's breastfeeding. Birda. Uh, rida means infanthood. Al Mahd is a crib, the crib. So, in that sense, that means infanthood as well. And um, we commonly say in Lebanese, we use English and French words. So, we use French bebe or English baby. In the plural, we say babies, bebeyet, um, and we can say as mentioned earlier, he is an infant, that means he's still breastfeeding. And uh, to say that someone had a baby, for example, jebit muna bebe jdid, jebit, literally she got. And we say, for example, jebit chocola. I got chocolate from the shop. So, Jebit, she got. Jebit Mona, Bebe Jdid. And I'm um, referring to a girl or a boy. How would we say Mona had a girl? And how would we say Mona had a boy? Jebit Mona Bint. Okay. Oh, is she bint? Oh, Jebit Muna Sabi. She had a boy. Oh, Ijeha Sabi. So, same meaning. Bint or Binit It's the same thing. A girl, Sabi, a boy. Now, the difference between Jebit and Ijeha Jebit, the literal meaning is she got from verb Jeb. Ijeha from verb Ija to come. For example, Ija Bayi Al Bet. My dad came home. So, literally, the baby came. To, to her, she received the baby, Ijeha. So Ijeha binit, in that very literal um, sense. And um, important to know that we have the verb khallaf or walad, that means to give birth. For example, muna uh, khallafit binit, muna waladit binit. So same thing, there are common verbs to know. So you might ac come across uh, these different verbs when someone is saying that, speaking about someone had a baby or gave birth. In the plural, Sami and Muna, so they're um, a married couple, Ijehun Walad Jdeed. So remember I said earlier, Walad is verb to um, give birth, and Walad as in a noun is a ism or a name for both masculine and feminine denoting Anything, or uh, sorry, anyone that's born. Yani kul ma wulid in Arabic. So whether it's a boy or girl, we can call call it walad. So Sami umuna ijehun walad jdeed. So they got a new baby. And we also say maulud. Maulud is the passive participle from verb walad. So that's the passive participle. So someone who is 
born or was born. So a newborn baby in English. Maulud. So you'll come across these terms. Walad, maulud, bebe, when we're speaking about um, infants, newborns. Very common term which you might have, have come across. Tufl, a child. And in the feminine, tufli, with ta al marbuta, which is a feminine sign in Arabic. The tufuli is childhood stage. Marhal tufuli, childhood stage. The tufuli. Heidi, tufli, zghiri, ubariya. This is a small and innocent child. So in the masculine, we would say, heida tufl, zghir, ubariya. In the feminine, heidi, tufli, zghiri, ubariya. In the dual, we're going to add the suffix an, the alif, noon, tuflan, that means two kids or two children. Tufl, tan, so we're going to add the tan. Now notice because tufli has, has the round ta, at ta al marbuta, which is a feminine sign. When we're changing to the dual, because in Arabic, when we refer to two uh, uh, things or two people, we're going to use the dual form. Um, it's going to be tan when we have a ta al marbuta. And it changes to the open ta when it conjoins or when it joins the long vowel alf. Atfal in the plural. Atfal. Tuflan, tufiltan, atfal. And we also say walad as in a child or a kid. So it could mean uh, someone who was born, walad, and it can also mean a kid or a child, regardless of uh, the gender as well. So um, I could say, for example, I could speak about myself. Uh, for example, I've uh, you know, uh, done mistakes in my uh, life. Kint walad bi wa'ta. I was only a child back then. Kint walad wa'ta. I was a child. So even if I'm a female, I can use walad. That means I was only young or I was only very little. Walad. So, walad in the, you know, in no, over here is a kid. In the dual, waladain. And in the plural, awlaid, or we commonly ignore the alif in the beginning and we say awlaid, awlaid in Lebanese. Okay, so, uh, walad as well can mean as in a boy sometimes. So just to um, note that. So huwe sabi, huwe walad. But in Lebanese, we commonly use sabi. Now, in the plural, atfal and wled means kids. So, so far we know atfal and wled are kids. An example, hayda al-malab, this playground. Hayda al-malab, lal atfal. La means for, lal atfal, for kids. Bas only. It's only for kids. Hayda al-malab lal wled bas. So we could use either. Al murahaqa is teenage stage. Al murahaqa. How marhalt al murahaqa? Fina nqul marhalt al murahaqa. Masal an example. Marhalt al murahaqa saabi wa hassasi. Saabi difficult, hassasi sensitive. And they're the, you know, um, mass, um, feminine adjectives from sab, something that's hard or difficult, and hassas, sensitive. Marhal til murahaqa sabi wa hassas. Marhali, feminine noun with a round ta, so the adjectives are going to follow with uh, feminine endings as well. And we say murahiq, teenager. Murahiqa in the feminine, so active participles. Murahaqa is the noun, murahiq, active participle, and murahiqa in the feminine. In the dual, murahiqin, so we add the in. And in the feminine, murahiqtin, tin. And in the plural sound, uh, masculine, plural, murahiqin, murahiqin, and sound feminine, plural, murahiqat. So, in and the at, murahiqat. 
ابني مراهق My son is a teenager بنتي مراهقة My daughter is a teenager ابن is a son and بنت can mean a daughter or a girl So earlier we said بنت صبي منى جابت بنت منى جابت صبي We been through that like as in uh, Bennett a girl and Sabi a boy, but also Ibn is a son and Bennett uh, can mean a daughter. So Ibn, son, Bennett, a daughter or a girl. And we also commonly use Al Ahl. Ahl can mean parents or like my household in like a very broad general sense. So Ahli, my parents or like my, you know, household family members. Al Bay. والام الاهل يعني يساوي يساوي البي زائد الام equals to the father plus the mother and we have الولاد the children الولاد we gone through that so ولد ولاد that means the children or who were born from the parents remember the verb to give birth ولد Walid, walid are actually the active participles, and maulud is the passive participle of that verb. So walid is the active participle from verb walad, and walid in the feminine, and that means uh, uh, someone who gave birth. And we commonly say il walid will walid be salamu alaik. For example, they say hello to you. So it's very common in Arabic as well. So, walid, walidi, walid, children, maulud, a newborn. Al-tarbi or al-tarbi means upbringing. Al-tarbi or al-tarbi. And in school, we had a subject called tarbi. Al-ahl birabbu waladun. So, parents raise or bring up their kids. Ahli rabbuni niyah. My parents have brought me up well. And in Lebanese, we often refer to someone who's um, not brought up nicely, who's ill-mannered as Bala Tirbeyi. Bala Tirbeyi. Or you might hear Bala Marba. Bala Marba. Same, same thing. It's just that Arabic is really rich in synonyms that... That's why you come across several terms that may refer to the same thing and so on. Hayda al-walad bala tirbay. So this uh, kid is not well behaved or not well mannered. Bala tirbay. Bala means without. So for example, ana bishrab al-ahwi bala halib. I drink coffee without milk. Bala. Same thing as bidun as well. Shabib. مرحلة الشباب so youth stage الشباب مرحلة البناء والإنتاج so youth is the stage of de development or building and production الشباب مرحلة البناء والإنتاج بناء means building literally إنتاج production and you might have come across the term بناي بناي is where you live as in a building with Flats, binayi fiyash sha'a, that has flats. But, hab shabib is acne, hab shabib, hab or hbub in the plural, that means zits. Hab shabib literally means zits of um, youth, that's a very lit literal meaning, acne. And we refer to a young uh, man, young uh, Woman as shab u sabiyi, shab u sabiyi. So we don't say shabbi, <laughs> that doesn't make uh, sense. We say shab, shab. It's actually geminated at the end, it has shadda. So when we put it in the dual, it's shab bain, shab bain, not shabain, shab bain. And in the plural, shabib, shabib. Sabiyi, now sabiyi has the round da, so sabi ten. Sabitain. In the plural, sabaya, sabaya, sabaya. This is where, you know, learning um, Arabic writing is um, handy because some things might be missed in transliteration. It doesn't capture the whole 
picture, especially from a grammatical point of view. Sami shab hello or shakhsiyi. Hello. So he's handsome. In English, you say handsome and beautiful, but in Lebanese, hello, halwe is the same for male and female. So he's um, uh, good looking, or he's could hello uh, can also refer to something as being nice. For example, haida shi hello, fikra halwe. This is something nice. This is a, you know, it's a good idea. But in this context, hello means handsome. Shaksi. Shaksi is a personality, but within this context, that means he has personality. He's got personality. He's got charisma. That's how we normally say it. Shabhil wa shaksi. Amal sabiyi hilwi. So the feminine of hilu. She is a beautiful young lady. Kamen and also kamen mhazabi tamuha. And she's also uh, polite. Mhazabi means she's got manners. She's brought up nicely. Tamuha is ambitious. So the masculine adjectives would be mhazab, tamuh. We could say um, um, sami, shab, mhazab, um, tamuh. Amal, sabiyi, mhazab, tamuh. Another example now in the plural, shabab and sabaya. Il idman ala al internet, mishkilt al shabab, wa sabaya hal ayyam. Idman is addiction. So addiction to the internet is the issue or problem of um, youth the, uh, the, these days, of literally young men and young women. Hal ayyam, so ha is just a contraction of haydi. So instead of saying haydi la ayyam, hal ayyam, we can contract that to ha. And how to say a man and a woman in Arabic? How to say a man? And a woman in Arabic, rijel, and that's the colloquial form of rajul, rijel. And we also say zalami, zalami. So rijel, zalami. Now in the feminine, a woman, mara. So in standard, we say imra'a, but in Lebanese, in colloquial, mara, mara. Kun rijel awi, be a strong man. Kun rijel awi. Kuni mara awiyi, be a strong woman. Now in the plural, uh, plural rjel, rjel. Zilim aw zlim, for zalame. Niswain, now notice that mara, we don't have a plural of mara, and niswain doesn't have a singular. They're just, mara is a singular noun with no plural, and niswain is a plural noun with no um, singular. It's just like, we women, we like to be different. <laughs> That's the only reason. Okay. An example. Hal hammam la rjel. Hal hammam la niswain. Hal hammam la rjel. Hal hammam la niswain. This toilet, another contraction of haida. So we say hal hammam. La rjel is for men and this toilet is for women. Hal hammam la niswain. Now, middle age, middle age, muntasaf il umr, middle age. Muntasaf means halfway or half. And we commonly say nus as well. Nus, that means half. So when we're telling the time, nus, that means it's half past three, or it's literally three and a half. Bitbellish azmit muntasaf il umr bil arba'een. So, azmi is a crisis. It bellish azmi muntasaf al umur bil arba'in. It starts in or at 40. So, referring to azmi, and he gib it bellish because it's a feminine noun. Old age is shaykhucha. Shaykhucha is old age. And we commonly say khityar, khityara in the feminine. Khityar, khityara. Khatera, khatera, in the plural. Example, lazim nihtirim il kbar bisin. So instead of saying lazim nihtirim il khatera, another way of saying old uh, people, il kbar bisin, that means they, they, they're um, old in age, literal translation. We say kbir means big, you might know that adjective. Kbar bisin, literally 
old in age or big in age. And we, you might know the words um, sini, a year, and sneen in the plural, plural years. Kbar bisin, old in age. Another term is al musinin. Shaks musin is an old person. Musin. So in the plural, musinin. Lazim nahtarim al musinin. So you might come across that term as well. But to be honest, the most common term in Lebanese is khityar, khityara, khatera in the plural. Sitti, my grandmother. So sit is a grandmother, and it could also mean a lady. He sit halwi, and he mara halwi. And also sit my grandmother. Okay, so sitti mara khityara. She's an old lady. Jiddi zalami khityar. My grandfather is an old woman. Uh, old man, sorry. <laughs> zalami khityar, old man. Sorry, it's getting a bit late. Marahil <laughs> amril insan, the summary now. Uh, we spoke about الرضاعه او المهد infanthood and we said we can say bebe bebeyet we can say uh, walad maulud so there's different ways of speaking about that we can say for a boy sabi for a girl binit tufuli childhood we say tufl tufli atfal and we can also say uh, walad and wlad aw awlad al murahaqa Teenage um, stage, murahiq wa murahiqa. So teenagers, murahiqin in the plural. Um, shabab youth, we say shab, a young man, and sabiyyi, a young woman, shabab wa sabaya. Muntasaf al umur, middle age. And shaykhukha, akhiran, finally shaykhukha, old age, and we commonly say. Khityar, khityara, kbar bissin, or kbar bil umur, same thing, kbar bissin, kbar bil umur, musinneen. So, different ways of expressing that as well. And we get to the interesting, the interesting part about traditional Lebanese sayings. I like this one. Tub al jarra, atimma, tutla al bint, la amma. So, jarra is a vessel. Tub, yani, turn literally upside down on. The spout, so tub, jarra, turn it upside down, atimma on its mouth, literally. Tatla, uh, she turns out to be, albinat, the girl, la emma, to her mom. That's a very literal translation. That means that, you know, uh, a girl will turn out to be just like her mom. And that's a funny one. Adi l'ulad shana halu. Adi is a judge. So the judge, a judge for kids, is trying to solve disputes between kids. Literally gave up. Shana means hung. Shana halu hung himself. So he kind of gave up. <laughs> it's like truly in vain. There's no point trying, you know, to solve, um, you know, problems and disputes between siblings, between kids, you know, because they at this age they can't really um, react logically to things. And that's a funny one as well. And you might come across it when people are speaking about politics and in general. So a child is a child regardless if he ruled a country. So it's, it's just a child. So kids going to be kids regardless of anything. And that's another um, common one as well. Al-Ird. بعين امو غزل ارد is like سعدان means a monkey ارد ارد بعين in the eye of امو his mom is غزل يعني دي or antelope that means a child is perfect um, in the mother's eye, eyes because um, you know a mom will love her kids unconditionally and a classical Arabic verse of poetry, which um, we grew up um, reading or listening to. Ala layta al-shababa ya'udu yawman fa'ukhbirahu bima fa'ala al-mashibu. So if only youth could come back, you know, one day, yawman. So I may tell it or lament to it what the grayness 
Mashib Greha has done to me. So very nice uh, piece of poetry. And if you're interested to know who said that, it's from the early Islamic era and it was composed by Abu Atahiyah. Um, shukran lal mutaba'a, thank you for following. Shukran lal mushahadi, thank you for watching. Shukran la intibahkun, thank you for paying attention. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments um, section and I'll be happy to respond to them. Merci and see you soon. <laughs>